Okay, I decided to uh, make a video with the mob types and general skills that they use first before we start talking about the, mod, the classes separately since you know it's important to, to know to have an idea what you're going against. Um, making this one, so uh, I guess it, it's easier to explain everything uh, with why I'm using something with certain uh, class. Um, because, uh, let, let's say it like this, it's very easy to have uh, an idea how you want to start some kind of mob or boss or whatever, you know. If you have um, faced this precise type of mob before, if not, um, if you have faced uh, a similar one, then uh, you would have an idea what you can expect. And this is why I'm making this. So I'm gonna start with the uh, humanoid ones, more specifically the balours. But since we're talking about balours, there are also nagas. And I'm gonna talk about the nagas first. Okay, so first off, um, the nagas are very hard to distinguish from each other. Now there are some specific ones, which I'm gonna show in a bit, but um, it's very hard to understand what mob does what at first glance because they have very weird names sometimes and you cannot understand. Now, for example, this mob, in, for example, I did not have any clue what it is gonna use. But for example, she, it used a physical and magical attack decrease uh, debuff on me. Okay, it's so about tanking type. Uh, um, this is one of them, which is the Serpent Guard. In this instance, uh, they have similar names like something guard or whatever. Uh, it, it, it's, the specific move for this one is the slow uh, attack uh, movement speed debuff with dot. Now, as many of the nagas, it has that cruel capture skill, which is actually a weapon around the mob, and also a silence, physical and magical. This is the other type, the scorch. And this is the main tank type of mobs. Again, crew capture skill. It also should have... Um, some of them have knockdown as a skill. And a shield. Um, but the shield is not any kind of shield. It's a bodyguard like the... Um, temper shield. And a Aether Hold. Those are the skills of score. And this is the tank from the Humanoid Valors. Um, as a starting skill, it has a range slow or knock down or knock back then it has um, a follow-up AOE being a knock down or damage one and then it has the bodyguard skill as well also goes with some kind of buff this weird looking balloon that is bent over uh, with ones I call them disenchanters uh, because of the debuffs that they are doing uh, and shit that they are giving to you now, for example, this one is with Paralyze, it has also a Paralyze attack as a follow-up for, for damage and it sh normally uh, they uh, those type of mobs have also um, Fire Burst, Fire uh, Damage Scale as a follow-up. Now, big part of them have a Reflect, like this one, which is called Endless Power. Uh, or a skill called Nightmare. Some have Dispel Blessing, which is uh, obviously a dispel of one or two of your own buff. Okay, now the mages. In this case it's called World Bender, but they are Bender something in most cases. They are not necessarily ranged uh, mobs. I mean the Naga types. It can be a melee mob with um, magic spells and they can be ranged. It has multiple types of skills. Fire Boat, Fire Burst, which is our fire uh, damage and dot. Fire Bow, Ice Chain, which is slow. It has Silence, uh, can be so Freeze, can be uh, many different stuff. As for the Humanoid ones, Mages, they almost always have the fire bolt and the fire burst. Now, in some cases, mostly instances, 
Uh, the mages have a grind, like the one that the, the, the boss mob just used. And uh, it makes a tree for everyone, so you need to dispel this. They have also, a, some kind, sometimes they have trussling clouds uh, or sleep. Other ones have reflect, which may be called reflect or as I said, nightmare, which is reflect with the sleep on the target. Also, there are those that are specific to bosses, so they have special names, like for example, where to go protection in this case. Some of them have Contrary Wind, uh, which uh, is pretty dangerous. It's um, close range away, like around the mob. Depending on the mob, it may or may not do a stun as well as effect. The other skills are standard, like we said Fire Burst, uh, Fire Bolt, and such. Freeze as a silence. If it has silence. As for the summoners, um, once you again engage them or once you hit them, they spawn a mob. Uh, being a blur or some kind of spirit, uh, it differs from mob to mob. Uh, and, and it has also a um, different type of um, additional skills. It can be Physical spin, it can be here, it can be fire burst, it can be fire bolt. The summoned mobs don't really have high HP most of the cases, so you can one or two shot them. But in rare occasions they could be elite so with a lot higher HP than the base mob. So just go ahead and kill the main summoner and the, the, that will disappear. As for the healing mobs, the Naga one is a bit weak. They usually have buff, starting buff for elemental defense. Then they have uh, two or three um, melee physical fast cast skills. And they have a cure for the nearby target and um, heal. Okay, the melee healing uh, bowls, the small ones that look like priests. What they almost always have is magic range skill. You know, the name differs. Uh, from a map to map, and also a weapon which only also works as a self shield. It makes silence to the people that get put as well. It has a cure and blind, possibly. Of course, it's also healing nearby targets with less HP. As for the humanoid bowers, uh, I mean the healing ones, what is specific for them in most of the uh, cases, they start with blind. Then they have the magic attacks, half of them are range, half of them are melee. But what they always have is summoning a, some kind of servant. Now, most of the times they are elites, but with like a uh, very low HP, you can kill them very easy. And it's very important because they cast spells and also hit for a lot of damage, they deal like 3 to 4 times more damage than the mob itself. Now, in very rare occasions, that servant will be strong, so you don't, uh, you cannot kill it. But you can CC. Okay, about the ranger mobs, they usually have uh, almost nothing. A bleeding slow effect, which can be castable, then it's in the beginning of the, uh, the fight, or it can be instant cast, which it's not necessarily to be in the beginning. In rare occasions, in uh, boss type mobs or high level instances, it, the, those ranger mobs can have also turn swash root effect scales. Uh, like here on Rentos on uh, Xasta when he transforms into the humanoid form of the dragon. The assassin type mobs are nothing special, let's say. They can be either in height or not, initially I mean. And the skills that they use are generally uh, melee, they don't have any kind of range skills. It's mostly uh, slow cast with more a lot of damage and fast cast with a lot of damage, I mean the skills. Sometimes they have buffs also, such as Berserking. The Gunner mob works like this. First hit they do to you makes you something similar like the assassin carve. And after that they hit a sequence of fast spells, uh, usually the same spell like few times. And then a big hit with a slower cast which uh, eliminates the um, carve, let's say, and deals higher damage. 
Also, some of the high-level gunners have uh, dots, like delayed skills, which explode when the debuff is over. The normal uh, physical melee mobs, they almost always have slow, which is range, uh, either instant cast or just a regular castable. After that, they have knockdown, not always, of course, and uh, either a follow-up damage skill upon knockdown target, or just a regular physical skill damage. Also, they may have tendon destruction, uh, which is physical and magical silence. Really nothing special to say about the fat mobs, they are usually called drummers. They are a combination of the healing mobs and the sorcerers. Mate. What's specific for them is that the, the cursed debuff can also slow attack speed. And this was about it about the bullworm mobs. Until the next time.